The senior presidential advisor for special operations, General Hoskani Bugaba, who arrived in Kitugum last evening, has kicked off his three-day countryside security tour of the area. <laughs> His Tuesday morning was kicked off by convening a sub-regional security meeting as well as holding a religious conference. In the afternoon, General Hoskan Rugaba landed at Kirilin Primary School still in Kitugum district ahead of a security public hearing. <laughs> En route to Namakura grounds, General Hoskan Rugaba interacted with these pupils. At this meeting venue, a delegation of local leaders ushered in the Foster's General. <laughs> And thereafter, speeches started. You have come, and people have confidence in your visit. In attendance, were state ministers, members of parliament, and local communities. It is true, our people want everlasting solutions to ensure that we have peace in our areas. And I also want to note that uh, the leaders of Acholi sub region have raised all these matters in cases in parliament. We have presented matters of national importance, we have held meetings. We have done everything we can, and we will not end up, but we will continue looking for everlasting solutions. General, if we are to solve the Karamojong issue, we have to have an intelligence-led confrontation. Intelligence. Most of the issues and some of the issues with the Karamojongs are that they are collaborators. People who inform the Kar Karamojongs where the cows are, where the goods are, where they should come. So the army has to get enough intelligence. The gaps in the UPDF are among those concerns raised by the residents. The Karamojong raiders are causing loss of lives. This loss of lives not only for civilians, even for UPDF. You have the records. Please, these people must be considered terrorists and rebels so that they are dealt with. Mohoz Kanirugawa, who happens to be the former commander land forces, was then invited to address the gathering. First of all, I want to, on behalf of the government and the UPDF, I want to uh, sincerely apologize for the suffering you have experienced. We are very sorry and it is something that hurts us when our people suffer. He, however, tendered in government's commitment in as far as pacification of Karamoja is concerned. Then I'm also going to bring you the commandos. I'm going to bring you a unit of commandos here. You find the most affected place in, in this area. We shall deploy them there. Those are very tough soldiers and you'll see their results. On top of the other interventions government is taking is the reinforcement of another battalion in the sub-region. Well, we are going to add another battalion here. It's going to join five five division. It will it will join five division. They they requested it, so we are going to uh, give it to them. Government is also moving in to solve. So the Karamajong use that excuse, the excuse of no water in the dry season. They say we have to move to other 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 districts. So the plan of government now is to make sure that there is enough communal uh, dams in Karamoja so that the excuse of water is removed. They will never say that they need water. The water will be in Karamoja. The other thing, uh, in fact, uh, that uh, government is also working on to improve uh, water, the water situation in Karamoja, is there's a plan to pump water from Lake Choga to Karamoja. Mid his speech, Brigadier Balikudembe was invited to update the community about the progress of the restoration of peace in the area. I found, uh, as he said, that uh, the Karamajongo used to attack and uh, go even beyond Kitugum up to Guru. But we have dealt with the criminals, and since 2017 to date, we have 
prosecuted and they are serving sentences in various government prisons, they are 2,845. So you've had some of the achievements, but uh, as I said, more work uh, remains for us to do in order to completely stamp out this uh, vice. As a demonstration for commitment to bringing back the lost cattle, Genum Hoskan Ilgaba donated over 100 cows to the affected communities. Some kind of compensation for the many that you have lost, but this is just symbolic. Muhozi will be in Agago district in the following day. Robert Nyango, UBC News, Kitugum District.